So what we do is show this part at the end. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 21 footage. In today's episode, we re-entered thinking it would be nice to return to our own machinima making. Machinima is a blend that means making cinema movies using 3D platforms. And we've made them in previous platforms, and we've been working with a new platform over the last year or so. And it would be nice to make one in that new platform. Um, and we did. And we wanted to also compose music to go with it, just like we were doing a, a stream ago. And you, what you just heard was this. So, not that part, that's the beginning. It just went wrapped around at the beginning. So, what we did is we went and we shot a bunch of footage which is this trail uh, t layer here. And it begins approximately about here and chugs along. And this is us, our avatar in this particular, you haven't seen us in this virtual world, I don't think. And we're starting at the park entrance and we did some incidental music to come right into it. So here's our intro. And for that, what we elected to do was um, we are actually using one of the scales that we said we wanted to compose in in this series. We're using the pentatonic parallel 3443558. So at this point, that's this one right here. The, the Beaver Trail movie, which is what that's called, was composed. And we have actually now done three out of four. These yellow are the scales that are our targets for this series. So we did the returning composition, we did the meta-literacy meta for digital citizens, incidental music, and now we've done the Beaver Trail movie incidental music. So that leaves uh, one scale to go here. So that was pretty good. Um, and you just heard the opening phrase, which was this. And we chose the 3443 because we knew it would have a lot of consonants and a lot of traditional, you know, minor major chords. So we're doing a minor to a major transition to kind of give it a, a strong entrance and then a upbeat leading into the movie. Then further along um, here, let's play this part for you into the sign. And we are now at the beaver trail trailhead. So this is where we were kind of transitioning from, uh, you know, gather the forces and then actually let's get down the brass tacks and let's get going on the, on the tour. So for this one, we elected to use all major chords and we used a half cadence, which, which ends in a dominant chord. So this is tonic, subdominant, don, dominant, dominant, but the fun thing was we, we used a full scale chord because we needed an E because we're sticking with the major mode. But if we had stuck with traditional scales, we would have had no chord, no major, no chord that had an E. It's hard to explain what we wanted to do. Let's see if we can do it this way. We wanted the E flat in there too because we just played the E flat up here. So we wanted this phrase to pick up, this phrase to pick up from here. Da, da, da. So we picked up the E flat from the chord because a full scale can have that chord in it, but we stayed for the melody in uh, all major. So that was kind of cool. And we, and we were able to design that because we've learned how to work with full tonality. So anyway, so anyway, then the next thing we did was we have a, a second part of this, which is called the, what is it called?
here. There's a, a Blackfeet reservation in this, and we needed to compose a, a little musical motif for that, Feet Indian Reservation. So here the trail branches off to the left, and we actually went to YouTube and did a little research. We went to Wik, uh, Wikipedia and YouTube and found a clip of uh, a Blackfoot music, and we actually transposed or transcribed it. Da 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 da. Whatever it is, how did it go? They actually are using a kind of a. Da 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 da. So that chord is. It was actually uh, like a half step up, and we just brought it a half step down so it would fit into our scale. And then we added kind of a fake drum beat down here. Boom, 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 boom. So it's kind of a very uh, loose. And when then we, we put a little harmony to it. So it's got that little flavor, and it's authentic, from at least from the YouTube video. And it's still, we made it up. So that was kind of cool. Now, speaking of things we didn't make up, so those are the, and then we had, you already heard the ending phrase. As we were doing this, the surprise was, it turns out there is a moose in here, a wildlife example walking in front of us. This is a fully antlered moose. This is uh, two of them, as a matter of fact. These are fully 3D rendered animated critters. These are native to the park. and also more deer in the distance. We'll just let them be. <laughs> That's what a moose sounds like. And um, so we dropped in a moose and a beaver. Here's the beaver talking to us. Excuse us, Mr. Beaver, may we look inside your lodging? We can certainly walk through the pond. And then we found a... Uh, Oh, that's our music. Here's an otter. Waterton Park is the, and we didn't even, we didn't know that was an otter when we did the shooting, but we found out later. Um, and then finally, we found a, another uh, cool right about here. Uh, what I would call us here are the gourds, pumpkins, vase. And, whoops! There goes an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> and it rendered in 3D. Oh. So we had a lot of fun putting this together. And um, we hope you enjoyed it as well. So that concludes today's stream. Um, our ideas for next time are to uh, post the movie for feedback, uh, continue ideas from our working list. Remember, we have a pending list down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. And, uh, and our good old friend, To Be Determined. Shout outs to Stoli, Stolia, who stopped by. This composing, or this DS composing stopped by, and Molly Rob, who stopped by. We appreciate your presence. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.